Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad news, man. Submersive, right? Ocean Gate, the Titan Submersive. People, if you haven't heard it yet, the people inside died. They're dead. Rest in peace. Condolences to them and their family. And a special condolence. I, I know human life is precious. And there's no power ranking on human life. But major condolences to the 19-year-old son of one of the passengers, right? The 19-year-old boy who was actually unsure. The reports came out that he was kind of afraid of taking this expedition, this, uh, you know, tourist thing. He told his aunt that, but because he loved his father, he decided to take this risk. And let me repeat again, this was a risk. This wasn't even a calculated risk. This was a horrible risk. And we have a tragedy that's easily avoidable, right? James Cameron, the guy who really made the Titanic story so popular with his epic movie, Titanic, was on CNN last night explaining how he had heard about this before. So this community of deep sea divers, people who make submersibles and... There's like a whole culture around the Titanic, right? He warned people about this, right? Specifically, the creator of uh, the founder of this entire company, Ocean Gate, right? Uh, Stockton Rush, right? These are individuals who, you know, are wealthy, who have some money, who like deep sea diving, deep sea exploring, but... They're people who don't look at safety measures. They're people who would like to cross boundaries in order to, let's just get real about it, get the bag. It's about the bag. Okay? 220 some thousand dollars to get inside the submersible and, you know, sign a whole waiver form, which includes, by the way, in that waiver form, death. Right. So the Titanic didn't just, you know, kill all these people, the entire the the ship itself. But now it's added five bodies to its body count. Right. At this point, the Titanic should become a rapper. It's more real than 99 percent of the rappers out there. It's got more bodies than you can imagine. Right. That's a joke, but it is what it is. Right. Unfortunately, it reflects on our society, man. You have people of influence and power who would rather deep sea dive and explore things that are from uh, from the past, a hundred plus years ago, right? And our media would rather focus on these five individuals than all the trauma and terrible things happening in the world. You know what I mean? Why was there a three day search? 100% media coverage for five super wealthy people when folks in Sudan are dying. When there was a Greek, there was a huge boat in Greece where it had 500 people drown and die, right? But nobody cares about that, right? It just reflects on how vain our society has become. It just reflects on how dumb our culture has become. It just reflects on how greedy our culture becomes. Because the guy who made this company, Ocean Gate, the guy who designed and helped design this submersible, Stockton Rush, right, was willing to endanger multiple people and himself for the bag. Because that's really what it was all about. I don't believe this was a really about exploring the Titanic because there's other ways and safer ways people could do could have done this. I believe that this was just a group of people who wanted to risk it all. You know, in the name of money, in the name of novelty, in the name of getting a rush, no pun intended. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, that rush led to their end. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. It's still a tragedy, but I think it's stupid. Big Baby JTV, I'm out.